Hi folks, just wanted to go over a comment or two here, make a quick video. It's Sunday night, I'm still dashing, but um, I have time to make this. And the reason I want to document this is because there's so many videos that I have and it's so hard to keep track of people's comments after they come through my studio because once I see them and respond, then they disappear and then, then I'd have to go back and look at all the videos. So I want to make a video documentation of this. This is from Mr. Wren, was uh, yesterday, says 16 hour ago. He says, my friend had the experience. He's taught, this is about get, having money stolen from them by, by Uber or DoorDash. So it's, he says, my friend had that experience when a customer paid a large amount of tips in front of him. Then Uber took the tips. It never showed up on the driver's app. Tonight, I have a customer that paid me $80 in tips it doesn't show in my driver app, but I have the customer's receipts with screenshot. It's a shame for this. Uh, well, he should be saying it's a shame on this company. And he says, where is the way to sue them? Now, if you watch this, if you watch this video or you hear this message, Mr. Wren, there's several ways you can go after these companies. You can use the attorney general of your state. You just do it at a local level. Try not to use the feds on it. Use the state. Uh, the state uh, attorney general, or you can go to small claims court uh, and uh, you can file a, a, a claim in there. I think each state may vary, but the highest, I think, in um, in my state of Massachusetts is $7,500 that you can sue anyone for or a company in small claims. Now, obviously, you know, when that happens to you, you're like, well, I'll just let it go, right? But see, what people need to start doing is not letting it go and saying, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to hold these companies accountable because if they did this to you just now, how many times have they done it for you or to you that you don't have receipts from? How many times behind the scenes that you didn't see? For instance, you go on a ride, right? And let's say you take a ride share and the customer you take him, let's say 30 miles and you're having a great conversation. And in the guy's mind, in the customer's mind. He's saying to himself, oh, this guy's a really good guy. I'm going to give this guy a $25 tip or actually a $50 one. So you drop the guy off. You say, thank you very much. Have a nice day. And you get like, say, $5 comes through, right? So that means they've stolen $45 from you in, in the app, right? But how are you going to know that? Because you haven't had a conversation with the customer. You don't know what he's tipping you. They, they intercept tips all the time, folks. If you knew how many times you were stolen from, you would be absolutely outraged. See, people haven't got enough outraged to go after them in court. A lot of people just say, you know what, I'm just going to quit this app or I'm not going to do it anymore. Or they just accept their, their situation and they just go on and move forward. And this is what people need to stop doing. People need to get grow a set of balls grow some cojones, as they say, and go after them, okay? I can't be the only one that does it, folks. You need to, I'm just giving you stepping stones here to give you the courage to do it because other people are doing it behind the scenes. You're not going to see a lot of this on television. It's not, unless it's a major lawsuit, unless it's, you know, a class action. You hardly ever hear of it in the news. I got to check this uh, to see if I have a delivery here. Sorry, folks. All right, I don't. I'm glad that you told me about this, Mr. Wren, and, you know, keep, you know, this is, you know, you need to have proof when you go into court, too. You can't just spout off at them, but you can show them general things. Make sure you get screenshots of everything. Make sure that you have, you know, even videos of things like you can screen, uh, do screen recorders as you're driving. I mean, just learn how to do stuff like that. Um, Anyways, uh, let me read one more comment here. Uh, he's, so uh, this is from a previous video. Oh, actually, no, that's two months ago. Okay, sorry. They, I don't know why it's showing that, but... Uh, oh, here's another one. This is Nate Javel. Okay, Javel just came in. Hey, Nate, how are you, brother? Let me read your uh, comment because you're usually great comments. He says, I have no clue why, but Uber, I've been waiting hours to do orders and they never send me anything. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's something to do with me being inactive for a long while throughout. No, nope, Nate, listen to me. I've been making videos on this. If you go into any of the ones that I have tagged as Uber Eats sucks or whatever, watch those videos because I mentioned why, but I'll tell you right here. They are, 
Uber, I've been beta testing them for over two months now, folks, and I know what I'm talking about. They are absolutely quietly pausing people who are cherry pickers with, with Uber Eats and with Rideshare. They will put you in a massive timeout. You can be in a busy area and you won't even get nothing coming through, folks, because I don't know what their algorithm is set at, but it seems to be anywhere from declining two or three or four orders in a row. They, they won't send you anything for hours and hours long. I don't even have Uber on right now. I, I, I stopped using it because I just got pissed off. And it also might be, be because you, you are inactive. They can set the algorithm any way they want. But, Nate, it's happening to me. It's happening to other people. People have commented. If you're, you know, it could be a combination of things. But they are punishing people now because they, they only want people on their platforms that are going to do everything that they say and take everything that they want you to take. They, they, they're trying to cut out all the, the people who've been doing this for a while. They want us gone. You know, and this is another reason why we need to sue these people in court big time, you know, and we need to get class actions. We need to do everything we can to go against these companies, folks, because if we don't, they're only going to get worse. And the people who didn't do this stuff down the road are going to wish they did. You're going to look back at some of these videos that I made and some of the comments I told you about. I'm, I don't know everything, folks, but I know a lot of things and I guarantee you, you're going to regret not, you know, I've had people come and comment in my videos telling me, geez, I, I wish I never became a top dasher because now I realize that I actually hurt, that I hurt the community. People have been telling me that in the comments. If you re go back and read some of my comments and all my videos, you'll see. Um, it's a shame because people, but pe a lot, you know, I get it. A lot of people are new. They don't understand. That's why my channel exists, folks, for you guys to get that knowledge. There's a lot of other channels that will talk generally maybe about that. But if, if you have an interest in making, like, in other words, if your channel is built around making side money and in, uh, in Google AdSense and all that, you, you're not privy to talk about something that's going to make someone unhappy, right? This channel is not here to make you happy. It's to give you information. Although I love each and every one of you, and I hope you are happy. I sound miserable all the time, don't I, folks? Or it seems like it comes across that way, but I'm not trying to be. I live a happy life, but I'm, I'm, I'm a humble guy. I don't have a whole lot of things, you know, but I, this channel was, I made this out of frustration, <laughs> you know, I definitely did, but then it, it's turning into what it is, and, and, and I'm glad because it's growing, and thank God the word's getting out there because uh, you guys, none of you would be here on this channel subbed unless you knew that I was telling you the truth because most of you can relate with everything that's going on that's why i love all of you because we can all pull together in a big community here folks and someone mentioned and I'm, I'm gonna have to let you go soon but someone mentioned in um in one of my videos like maybe maybe i should start a a gofundme page or something to to pull pull in some money for for legal fees you know, like to even help people out that would need help to do it. But it, it's really probably better meant for a, a class action because once you have a lot of money you can deal with, then you can do class action suits. And then whatever comes in from those donations could help the community and you would get something back down the road. But that's that's in the future. I would let you know if something's going to happen like that. I, I'm still trying to get some information behind the scenes and everything else. It just takes, folks, it takes a long time, you know. I put out a video like, what, two, three weeks ago saying I'm going to file a lawsuit. Oh, I am going to file a lawsuit, but I can't just go in crazily. You know, that day that I made that video, I was angry. So I had to think about things. You can't, I can't just run into things. Everything has to be done correctly in the right way. Because if you do it half-assed, it won't, it won't be good, right? So anyways, with that said, folks, thank you for listening to another video. I have a couple more videos I'm going to post. Um... I have one that I'm going to post from a subscriber that wanted me to show some information for him. That'll be coming out hopefully by tomorrow or something. And then I have some other videos. I'm always behind in uploading, folks. Forgive me. Anyways, appreciate you listening to this video. And uh, please, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscription button, the notification bell, and like button so you won't miss another video. 
and I'll catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.